Yes, I am back out here with the Minimoto. It's been a couple weeks since I first upgraded it with the Seronster upgrade kit from Electro & Co. Links will be down below. And I've taken it to ride outs, I've ridden it to school, I took it to the beach. I've done a lot of testing on this bike, pushing it to its limit, and I am so pleased with how it performs. It's absolutely a blast to ride and to wheelie. But there are two things that needed to be done to the bike, and a lot of people left those as comments on my last video, which I really appreciate. And those two things are the brakes and the front suspension. Even if you're not wheeling and just street riding, it's really nice to have front suspension, which this bike does not have. It does have decent rear suspension, which I don't have any plans of upgrading, but the front suspension needs to be upgraded to a, a spring fork, and the brakes, their cable brakes, I've been wheeling them just fine, they've held up, but I wanted to throw some hydros on there as well. So that's what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to test it out. Again, if you're interested in purchasing this upgrade kit, check out the link below. It is the Saronster Minimoto Upgrade Kit. And on that note, let's get going. So I got this front fork custom made for this bike because they don't really come in the right size. And fortunately you can get these forks for yourself. The company is Alter Ego Motors, I'll have the links below as well. And they went ahead and made me a custom front fork. These are upgraded by hand from what I believe are the Razor MX forks. They're lifted relative to those forks. And they've got a whole new spring and everything in there. I would not mess with Saronster. This would have been a great use of a socket. So to take the front wheel off, you need this socket, which I don't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Ron to the store. Mini Moto's out of commission, obviously. Get that socket.
another video. Yes, sir. Taking the Mini out for the first test drive with the suspension and the hydro brakes. We're just going to go for a joyride, maybe give him a couple wheelie tips. Let's get it. I got hydro brakes on here. It feels so much nicer than the stock brakes. Although really the stock brakes held up fine. Ooh, I got suspension. Let's try them out. Oh, the hydros. Oh. Oh, the hydros are so nice. Let's see how it feels coming down with the suspension. Okay, it's over. This is like the perfect stump bike. Oh, it feels so smooth coming down on the front wheel. The front forks were purely solid metal out of the box. So coming down from a wheelie was was not fun. Here's Ben on the X160. What's up, bro? <laughs> this is so fun. So there you go. Those are the two biggest upgrades I wanted to do after upgrading the powertrain. Got the front fork on there from Alter Ego Motors and the hydraulic brakes from Electro and Company. Electro and Company is also who I've been partnered with developing this kit it should be available as of the posting of this video the links will be in the description below you can buy the Suronster mini moto upgrade kit for the rsf 650 on electro and co's website in that kit you'll get the upgraded motor controller and battery as well as a full twist throttle and a key ignition with a voltage meter this is just the beginning of the mini moto there's gonna be a lot more content coming your way i'm gonna get you top speed and range videos as well as just some more messing around on the mini moto because that's what's all about having fun as always thank you so much for watching and stay tuned yeah.